The HK VP9L represents the long slide competition model of the VP9. Since this was launched in 2020, the pistol only comes optics ready, which is great. As it's billed as a competition pistol, it ships with three 20 round magazines, but that's probably best to think of this gun as just a long slide VP9 and not necessarily a competition version of the gun. I'm David with Gun Deals and this is the HK VP9L. So the HK VP9L is marketed by HK as a competition pistol. And what that means to them is that they put a bushing in the barrel that makes it lock up tighter and the gun is laser beam accurate. They gave you a longer slide that is in fact optics ready and it gave you some pretty aggressive cuts at the front of the pistol which is where competition shooters like to manipulate the gun. And then there is the 20 round magazines that they shipped the gun with. In the second quarter of 2020, these magazines are illegal for all of the games and divisions in which this gun would be competitive. If you're not a competition shooter, you probably don't care about it. It's 20 round mag, it's awesome. You don't have to reload it as much. However, if you are a competition shooter, this magazine will not fit the USPSA 140 millimeter magazine gauge. So that means this is an open gun where you'd be competing with uh, 2011s should you choose to use the 20 round mags that are provided. That all said, the HK VP9L is awesome. They are billed as about $1,050 to $1,100. However, if you shop around, you can find them for closer to $800 in the second quarter of 2021. The five inch barrel is going to get you more velocity over the regular VP9, which is a four inch barrel. So you get more velocity. So if you use this for like home defense, which you could, cause it's got a rail and it's got night sights, then you're gonna get more velocity out of your hollow points, which is gonna to lead to more reliable expansion in targets. The frame itself is a class leading frame as far as how good the gun feels in hand. Uh, most pistols give you interchangeable back straps where just the back part of the grip comes off and you can kind of make it like small, medium, or large. This comes with a three piece system. So it's not just the back strap, but the side panels as well on each side come off. So if you have very small hands, if you use these small grips, you can absolutely get a very comfortable grip on the pistol. Similarly, I have large hands. I have the large straps installed on the gun. And it's like I just, it's, it's like if you took a large hunk of butter and you just kind of squeezed it real hard and whatever was left is what they kind of made the grip out of. That's what this feels like, except not slippery. It's a crazy thing to think about, but it, it is a form fitting factor. Like there are finger grooves and as polarizing as finger grooves have been on like Glock pistols, they absolutely work on the HK. Like I love the finger grooves. They help index my grip on the pistol. They help resist kind of the rotational force of the gun in recoil. And then on the sides, you've got these nice palm swells and there's enough real estate for a large handed shooter to get a very good firing grip uh, on the pistol. I'm a big, big fan of the geometry of the grip. I legitimately believe this is the best in class as far as the grip shape is concerned. The actual grip texture itself, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a light medium. It's not super aggressive. If you have sweaty hands, it's not gonna do a lot. For a competition pistol, it's kind of a problem, but if for like home defense and stuff like that, it's it's less of a concern. The controls are fully ambidextrous with the uh, European style uh, mag release. So it's, it's a paddle mag release where it's the bottom of the trigger guard where you can use your trigger finger to drop mags or you can use your thumb on either side of the guard. It's just fine. The slide can be dropped on the left-handy side of the pistol, no problem. So the gun is very well thought out in that regard. The slide serrations at the front, as I mentioned, are super aggressive and at the back, they actually have these little wings that allow you to cock the pistol. If you don't wanna use your optic body to rack the slide, if you have an optic mounted on the gun, you can use the wings to pull on the back of the slide and manipulate it that way. So it's a very welcome feature in the context of having an optic on the pistol. So the trigger, which uh, everyone wants to know about, is quite good. The trigger pull length is a little bit long on the take up. It's just a little bit there, very smooth. Then you come to a tightly defined wall. You keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And then there's a small amount of creep, a very, very small amount of creep. If you don't look at the trigger, you don't really feel it. And then it breaks. And there's a little bit of over travel on the brake. Um, so the, the take up to the brake is fantastic. The reset is, it's still good, but it's not ideal. Uh, it is kind of long and it's not super heavy. So uh, a lot of people when they first start shooting VP9s will short stroke the trigger if they try and shoot fast by not letting it out far enough before shooting again. 
uh, because the trigger isn't helping assist to rebound your finger off the trigger so that you reset the trigger fully. If you don't reset the trigger, then you try and pull again, there's nothing there. The pistol, despite being an optics ready gun, it unfortunately isn't optics ready. You have to buy the plates from somebody. HK says they're sold separately, but whenever anybody does the sold separately thing, what ends up happening is they stock the place, they have all the intention of keeping the plates stocked, and then all of the plates for the popular optics disappear and are basically impossible to find from that point forward. And that's the case with the HK VP9 as well. Uh, if you want the HK plates, you're gonna have to get the notify me when in stock button hit on a bunch of websites and eventually you'll be able to buy some. In the meantime, places like EGW have on offer like aluminum plates that absolutely work in the gun. When I was testing the gun, I used the EGW plate for an RMR and it worked fine. People are already starting to make holsters for the long slide version of the VP9, so you won't have any issues finding holster support. Uh, the magazines are unfortunately pretty expensive. They range from about the lowest I could find was about $43, and surprise, they were out of stock. Uh, for the 20 round mags, which you can find in the 50s, you can totally get them. HK mags are super quality. They're coated with an anti-friction coating. They have like anti-tip followers. They're as good as you can make a magazine. Unfortunately, you pay for it. So if you've got tips on some HK magazines at a discount, let me know in the comments. The sights that come on the pistol are not traditional competition sights, which would be like a blacked out target rear with a fiber optic front. Instead, you have the typical HK three lamp night sights, which is on the regular VP9 as well. As far as iron sights go, especially night sights, these are machined very well. The edges are very crisp. It's very easy to be precise with the sights that come on the pistol, but they don't co-witness with an optic and they're not really competition sights if you're picking this up for like a competition style gun. If you're picking this up for like a home defense type gun or like even a competition gun, I mean, you're gonna love it. I, I was super accurate with the gun pretty much straight away, right out of the box. It's a very high quality pistol. Everything about the pistol just screams quality. Like the grip, I'm telling you, this grip is amazing the way it feels. And as such, the way the trigger is engineered as well, like very, very easy to pull straight to the rear. It's a fantastic gun. So let me know in the comments below, what's your experience with the HK pistols and have you considered or will you consider buying the HK VP9L? I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.